one sample t test this is the example which we looked previously in this example the perfume manufacturing company is making 150 cc bottles and we picked the four random bottles and in those we found the average volume to be 150 1 cc and the standard deviation of these four bottles was 2 cc now the question is has the mean changed and that we want to do with 95% confidence level so previously we looked at the hand calculation of this question using six steps in hypothesis testing now let's use the python session to solve this problem so before we do anything we need to import these libraries and we have talked about these libraries when we talked about one sample z test so let's import all these six libraries press control enter now the next step is to create the data for this question so here is that data here what i have is a pandas series and these are the four volumes of bottles 148.5 153.4 150.9 and 151.2 so these are the four bottles which we picked from the production line which was making bottles with 150 cc volume since these numbers are small we just have four bottles and we do not know the population standard deviation also that is the reason we are going for t test one sample t test so let's press control enter and now if i look at the volume these are the four values here and the next thing probably i might want to do is volume dot describe just to see that what is the average what's the standard deviation of this so this gives me that there are four numbers here the count is four and the mean is 151 this is what we had in our question that the average of these four bottles is 151 and the standard deviation of this is 2.00 slightly more than that and it gives the minimum maximum etc so now this is the data which we have now we need to perform the one sample t test and as we earlier said that in stats which is the scipy stats we do have one sample t test so let's use this library which is our preferred library so for this what i will do is stats and in stats what i want to do is press dot and press on tab this gives me all these things so what i want to do is t test so t t and this gives me t test one sample that's what i want to do and then in this the first thing is input where my data is my data is in this particular variable which is volume so i'll just put volume and the value here is 150 because that's what i am comparing this volume against that is it so all those things what we did in one sample t test these are summarized in just one line of code i will not even call this as one line i will call this as one third of a line so with this if i press control enter this gives me the result of that it gives me the statistics is equal to 0.9975 roughly 1 which is the t value t calculated and it gives me the p value which is the p value is 0.39 or let's say around 0.4 so with this we fail to reject the null hypothesis so now let's quickly compare this against our hand calculation the t calculated there was 1 which we are getting here as 0.9975 because there is a slight difference in the standard deviation and the p value here is 0.3920 which basically in the terms of hand calculation we were finding out the t critical and t calculated so basically what i have here as p value which is 0.4 is the area on the right of t calculated and if i multiply that by 2 that is the p value but i don't need to go into those details what i can just conclude from this is since the p value is high we fail to reject the null hypothesis so that means there is no reason to believe that the volume has changed so this is one sample t test